what's up guys? It's Mike from Outdoor Element. Today, I wanna to show you how to change out the ferro rod or the flints inside of your fire beaner. It's actually the same process for the fire escape if you see that on our website. Um, it's that little flint. So every time you roll that wheel towards the wire gate, you get a good spark. Um, eventually that'll wear out. It's a consumable and it does, uh, the packaging does come with a couple extra. And so I wanted to show how that actually happens. People have asked how long will it last? I say about 2,000 sparks. We've had a tester, um, a third-party tester took it out and he, he says he got a lot more. So I'll put a link on our website or the, on the, um, the description below. You can kind of check that out. But today I want to show how it's done. If you're not aware what a fire beaner is, I'll give you the 10-second uh, rundown. It's a uh, stainless steel, one-ounce carabiner, kind of multi-tool, screwdriver tip, bottle opener, small blade for fishing line, little hang slots for keys or other things. And then it has that little patented little flint wheel designed into the body of it. I mostly use it with my pocket rocket, this little camp stove. So I'll get the gas going, I'll throw the spark up, and get a fire going that way. Um, I've had people tell me that they've had it for a year and a half and it has not worn out. Um, I, on the other hand, am a fidget monkey. And so maybe every three or four months, I uh, have to replace it. So um, people have also said, hey Mike, uh, I'm glad it comes with two extra. Uh, occasionally they lose theirs. So you can pick up five, I think for a dollar on my website. And I've also made this little uh, ferro rod holder and it is at also a dollar on our website. I think there's a maintenance kit too. Check it out, that way it's always hanging off the keys just in case you need it. And it's always there for you, you don't have to go to your sock drawer where you think you left it. Um, but yeah, there you have it. So let is, let's go through the process. I'm gonna take this off. Um, this little wombat whistle. Oh, by the way, I'll show you what this does. There's a little tinder inside. It's wax infused cotton. So if you need to start an emergency fire, you would pull this guy apart, get those little fibers showing, and that's where you're gonna lay that spark. And then this will get your fire going with the other kindlin. Um, but that's not why we're here. We want to pull one of these guys out here and put it in here. So the packaging shows you there's a set screw and you're gonna pull that out and uh, a spring, you pull those two out, then you get out whatever's left of that little ferro rod. And then you're gonna input that new one and repeat and go opposite and put it back together. So let's do that. So right here on the spine of the carabiner is a little hole and there's a set screw in there. So in theory, this, uh, our accessory kit comes with a little uh, key. It does fit in there and it will fit and you can turn that set screw tighter and tighter to put more uh, tension or pressure a compression on that spring, um, but I prefer to use a little jeweler screwdriver. It's easier, a little pro tip. Uh, so you can put this guy down in here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna pull out that, that set screw, there it comes. You see that? It is spring loaded, so I always kinda get my fingers real close to it, to make sure it doesn't fling off somewhere, especially if the, uh, if the ferro rod's long. And this one I think is not, so. Pull that out, there should be a spring as well. Let's see if I can get this guy out. No, he's a screwdriver. There he comes. There's a spring, there's the uh, set screw, and then there should be a ferro rod. This one still had some life to it, but we're just, for this case, we're just showing how to replace it. So here we go. We're gonna push this back in here, drop it in, uh, put that spring in there as well. And then the set screw should fit in that spring. And I'm going to take the screwdriver. Uh oh. I'm going to take the screwdriver and I'm going to pinch it with my fingers um, to make sure it doesn't fly out. So I'm going to push this down. You can see that or not. I'm going to pinch it a little bit with my fingers and turn it. There we go. And then now we should be good to go. Once I screw this in a decent amount, it's going to put compression uh, on that spring, pushing it towards that wheel. And then we should be locked and loaded. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me push that wheel for you. There you go, a much bigger spark. And we can go ahead and light the stove. And for one more demo of the little Tinder Quick, we'll pull this apart, throw a spark on it, and bam, there you go. So that is the replacement of the ferro rods of your fire beaner, which actually did win an award oh, at the Outdoor Retailer Show. We won Radical by Design at the Venture Out section. It was a good day for us. I hope you can get outdoors and explore with confidence. Thanks guys.